bum 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 the peter dislike show bum 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 i'm reading about quiet quitting and apparently there's a generational conflict of what um employees want out of their work but i think the youngest generation has not really thought through what they want for the workplace. So some of the quiet quit articles, the younger generation uh, mentioned that um, they wanted uh, their uh, commutes to be paid for, they wanted um, their lunch to be paid for. Some people wanted not only more vacation time, but for their employers to pay for their vacation. There was this one software company, I believe they were in Denver, where uh, employees were given up to I think seven thousand dollars every year to take a vacation and on the surface they seem like really good things right where I work we technically have unlimited vacation time I actually don't quite like it and to understand why um, you gotta understand there's no such thing as unlimited vacation time right or if your employers paying for your vacation there's no such thing as your employer paying for any vacation you might want to take, right? Nobody can take 365 days a year off from their jobs, right? Nobody can travel into space or go to the moon and expect the employer to pay for it, right? Obviously, there's some line somewhere, right? I'd rather know where that line is, right? The other problem is it might not be a line in time anymore. It might actually be a line in judgment right if your vacations don't jibe with the company policy you might have a harder time taking time off right i know this for a fact because i have a lot of personal differences and then the, the lunch being offered uh by your employer well now you got to share what you eat with your employer right i i think that almost violates hipaa by the way i uh but that's my own take on it some people might not be comfortable sharing um I, I i'm gonna have to think hard about what i'm gonna do we got an office party coming up and i've been kind of closeting um my uh difference in eating habits because people will judge as soon as they hear why i'm avoiding certain things and then they hear that it's to control my autism uh it, it, that's it, it a, a lot of a lot of times that's game over people don't want to hear more of it and so i'm gonna have to think hard about how i handle um I, I've already shared that I, I this this one I was a little bit less com less uncomfortable with, but I did share some personal hobbies. Maybe conveniently on the day of the party, there's a space viewing event. Okay, that's probably best best case scenario, right? Uh, that way I can continue to closet my uh, uh, eating ways. Although I can't keep it closeted forever, so I'm gonna have to think hard about how I'm gonna make that reveal, right? But um, the last time I checked. All of these benefits that these employees are talking about, the, the, the commuting, perhaps relocating, the lunches, the vacations. Last time I checked, all of these things can be bought with money, right? Um, and if you buy it with money that you, know, that you negotiate with at your job, your employer doesn't have to know where you went on vacation. They, they don't have to know where you, what you eat. They don't have to know where you live. And I just think that would be a heck of a lot less toxic, right? Just pay us well, right? And treat us with dignity, right? Don't judge based on... I think um, one article I read even said that they, they will pay for any plane ticket uh, for, for anywhere you might want to travel on vacation. What if you have a fear of flying? Like after 9-11, um, I didn't fly for a number of years, actually. I drove everywhere. Um, my it, it drove my phd advisor crazy because i was going to school in rochester new york we had a conference in uh, louisville kentucky i i insisted on making the drive the truth is i also wanted to have a good time on the drive as well and i at the time we did i really didn't have a lot of vacation time it was worse than an unlimited vacation right nowadays i have unlimited vacation the truth is that i allow everybody else to take unlimited vacation while i fill in for them because I don't want my work to judge the way that I live my life, right? That, that's kind of sad, right? A lot of times, so, uh, th this past year, I filled in for a lot of people who wanted to go to uh, Taylor Swift's concert, obviously. And so, uh, I love Taylor Swift just as much as those people. I can't stand the loud environments, right? 
And so I, I like to think that, you know, we all, we're all different. You know, you love loud environments. Maybe next time something I love, you'll fill in for me. The truth is that the other way around doesn't really go very well, right? So that's why we really shouldn't call it unlimited vacation time, right? It's really more like uh, 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 limited, but with something else other than time, right? That's, that's the most frustrating part of it. Uh, anyway, so I, I, I was talking about some companies that would pay for a plane ticket, but planes aren't the only way some people take vacations, right? Some people like to drive. Some people don't even like to go anywhere, right? And the uh, funny thing is that seven years ago, I got into a car accident. Uh, I was daydreaming while driving, and for a year, I got scared out of my mind about driving. And I actually started flying places. I was living in Seattle, and I actually flew to go see my girlfriend in Rochester, New York. In the past, I would have driven, and I had a number of computer game conferences that year as well. And so um, that didn't scare me at all, but having to drive somewhere or even uh, sit, uh, being a passenger in a car really scared the fuck out of me. I would, um, a colleague would drive me somewhere and I would worry about distractions that they were involved in, right? Unfortunately, a lot of my close friends uh, don't think much about texting while driving. They don't think much about getting so lost in conversation while driving. It scared the crap out of me. One day I was on a bus and uh, I uh, threatened to report the driver. He was so busy talking to another passenger on the bus that he was missing the green lights and uh, he just scared the crap out of me and I threatened to report him and we got into a little bit of a shout out actually and I, I got scared out of my mind. I left the bus. Anyway, I thought I would point out that uh, some, of, some of the hype surrounding these employee benefits that these quiet quitters are shooting for, be careful what you're wishing for. This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.